Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and this would be the new Jumper T14 radio. So this new radio by Jumper comes in an ELRS 2.4 or an ELRS 915 megahertz version. The claim to fame with this radio is that for ELRS it shoots out at an astounding one watt in this very inexpensive package. And as you can see from the OLED display, it is running Edge TX. On the back you have a fan, you could hear it up here like most of these ELRS fans, they run all the time to cool the system so it has taken a bit of battery power away speaking of batteries you could put 218 650 batteries in here like i have or you could put the 21 700s or you can put a 2s battery and of course back here you can put any module so if you want to change this to a crossfire radio you can or a four in one radio just put the module on the back and the final thing to say about this radio before i show you my review is that it is designed for fpv pilots all right let me tell you more about this radio check this out and now let's go over the features of the jumper t14 Starting on the top left, we have a two position switch, followed by a three position switch, followed by two potentiometers, and then on the right hand side, there's another three position switch and a two position switch. In the center, there is the speaker and the power button. The gimbals on my Jumper T14 are CNC Hall Sensor Gimbals and as you can see the radio is a Mode 2 with a throttle on the left. Near the bottom of the unit you'll find the trim controls. In the FPV hobby we really don't use trim controls so you'll probably never use these. On the left hand side you have three buttons. You have the System button, the Page button and the Return button. On the right hand side you have the Scroll Wheel and Enter Key. The screen is a 2.4 inch OLED display. Status indicator lights are shown on either side of the display. The display has a super fast refresh rate so you won't see any ghosting as you see on other radios. And that's pretty much it for the front of the radio. Now taking a look at the bottom of the radio you'll see we have absolutely nothing. So on the sides you have some nice grippy grippy material to hold in your hands. Let's take a look at the top. On the top you have two important buttons. You have a momentary button I'm pointing to here and you have a latch button I'm pointing to here. Next you have two ports for do-it-yourself antenna modifications. Here you have a USB data port and fast charging port. Next to this we have the trainer port. In the center we have the DFU button for flashing firmware. And the last item would be the adjustable and foldable antenna that you can move around into many varied positions. That's it for the top portion. Now let's take a look at the back. First off you have a foldable handle. Next you have a standard size JR module compartment. So if you want to attach Crossfire or a 4-in-1 module to this you can. Since this is a high output ELRS radio it requires a fan and this is where the fan's located. The Jumper T14 is powered by whatever batteries you have lying around so if you have two 21700 batteries will work or if you have like i have here two 18650s it will work oh and in case you're wondering yes you can use the jumper t14 with a flight simulator as you see me flying here it works quite well it works just like every other radio on the planet you plug in your usb cable select joystick and you're flying i'm going to check out the gimbals and how well this radio handles a typical drone elrs drone we have the gep rc dark knight let's go for a flight now i probably already mentioned this but i don't find the volume on here super loud right now it's pretty quiet so you can hear it nicely flight mode angle flight mode acro so it's pretty good out here with no noise, but if there was a lot of people talking around me, I might have to hold it up to my face. Okay, I'm gonna keep the flight around me, nothing exciting. Armed. Motors are armed. And uh, let's bring it back over to me. There I am. I just wanna see how good the joysticks, the gimbals are on here. The gimbals on here are just like the gimbals on all the Hall Effect gimbals. They're very precise, very good. No issues whatsoever. Uh, I like the grip on this radio. I like the bigger grips in the back to hold it into position. It's very good. If you want to do little freestyle things, you could do them really fast or really slow on here. The gimbals are good. And uh, if you want to dodge stuff, let's see if I can dodge something down here. Go through this, go through this, this. Whoa, 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 get through that. <laughs> dodge over here. This is like drone racing when you're going through stuff at high speed. Going through and coming through and coming back. Anyways. Uh, gimbals are good. They're responsive. So let's go land near my landing pad because the landing pad looks in rough shape. 
hit it anyways. Now for those of you with a keen eye, it looks just like a Radio Master boxer. As a matter of fact, it would be hard to tell these two apart unless you knew what you were looking for. So here, let me show you a comparison video. Check this out. This is a quick look at the T14 versus the boxer. First off, the two and three position switches are identical. The same is true for the potentiometers. They both have a speaker and power button in the same location. Both have Hall Effect gimbals. The jumper has two multi-function trim controls and the boxer has four dedicated trim controls. The jumper T14 has multi-function buttons and a plastic scroll wheel, whereas the boxer has many dedicated buttons and a metal scroll wheel. The jumper has a high refresh rate OLED display, whereas the boxer has a monochrome LCD display. Both units use the Edge DX operating system. Here you can see that both displays are in sleep mode. To wake them, you just move the joysticks or touch a button. There you go, the boxer is awake, it's nice and bright, and the jumper is awake and it's nice and bright. Here's a good example of the screen refresh rate on each radio. This is the boxer and you can see as I move the joysticks you can hardly see them on the screen but if I do the same thing on the jumper the refresh rate is very high and the display is very crisp you can see everything. Here you can see the boxer has a canvas handle whereas the jumper has a plastic foldable handle. The boxer has a short flexible antenna and if you try to turn it you're basically unscrewing it so it's gonna fall off whereas on the jumper the antenna is movable in all directions. Both radios have a standard JR compartment on the back. Both radios with ELRS have a fan on the back. Both radios can also accept all kinds of batteries. You'll notice the width of the hand grip is different on each radio. The boxers are skinny and the jumpers are large. So depending on which size hands you have, one radio might fit you better than the other. The buttons and the ports on the top of the radio are pretty much identical. Although the jumper also has those extra do-it-yourself antenna ports. You can also remove the two buttons on the top of the jumper T14 and replace them with two position switches. Here I'm showing the plastic cover and the two position switch you would just add and plug into the circuit board. Now I should point out that the boxer radio does have a six position switch on the front, whereas the jumper T14 does not have that. The boxer also has a metal scroll wheel and additional dedicated buttons, whereas the jumper T14 has a plastic scroll wheel and multifunctional buttons. Both the jumper and the boxer do arrive with carry cases as well as a few accessories inside as well as an instruction manual. Now one thing I didn't mention in that little comparison footage is that the boxer actually comes in three versions, so you can get it as an ELRS radio, a 4-in-1 radio, this is a 4-in-1 radio that I use all the time and I usually put an ELRS module on the back, or you can get it in a CC2500. Whereas the Jumper T14, as far as I can tell, only comes in an ELRS version, and of course you have the two versions of ELRS depending on where you live in the world. So I know the question everybody's asking now, I don't have one of these, which one should I buy? That's a tough, tough question to answer. So I'll simply give you my impressions. Let me tell you the positives on the Jumper. So on the Jumper T14 you have the latest version Hall Effect gimbals. You can also get the CNC gimbals like I have here but I think you can do that as well for the Radio Master. I think that's a big upgrade. It's it's a little upgrade for this but the price is pretty good for the jumper. In the hands because of the larger grips in the back it feels a little bit better than the boxer but that depends on your hand size so don't take my personal opinion on that. It is quite apparent that jumper wants you to modify this radio to suit your needs you know with external do-it-yourself antennas or change the switches. I don't know if Radio Master offers that. You'll have to check their website. This has an OLED screen on the jumper. The Radio Master has an LCD screen. Outdoors, nah, you know, they're pretty much the same. One is not brighter than the other for outdoors as far as I can tell. This has a faster refresh rate than this screen. If you need a handle on the back to fold down to fit it in a bag, this one has it. But this one, they went with a piece of material, canvas, and of course, it just goes flat. So you're not really winning with either. Of course, the new jumper has their movable antenna you can flop it all over the place i guess that will come in handy depending on how you're sitting and where you're flying this antenna here uh, i have moved it before and as soon as you move it, it it's loose now it's not even connected anymore it comes off so you're basically screwing it on and off but you can still move it you know you can do a 90 degree thing like that you know so yeah you can kind of move it let me tell you about the boxer what it has that the jumper doesn't have which makes the boxer pretty good i will say for my opinion since i have both here 
the boxer feels a little more polished in the hands. It's almost like there's a better construction with the plastic, the knobs, the dials, everything. And you know, you got the metal roller versus plastic on this one. As mentioned, the boxer does come in three versions. So if you're looking for a four in one radio, you can't get this in a four in one currently, but uh, as of this video anyways, but you can get this in a four in one radio. So the main selling feature of the jumper right now is that you can get this for $93 US. Whereas if you buy the boxer right now and you go on the Radio Master website, it's $139 US. So honestly, if it just came down to price between the two, well, obviously I'd go with the jumper over the boxer. I'm sure if you check around, you might find the boxer on sale in certain locations. I don't know if you'll see it as low as $93, but uh, this is pretty low at $93 US. So I'm going to put links to both of these radios below. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link to my full review on the boxer. You can go check that out as well as a link to where you can buy this. If you want to get the $93 deal on the jumper T14, you have to click on my link below this video. Go in the video description section and click on my link and type in my discount code on the Banggood website and you should get the discount. But I will say Banggood is a little weird some days and depending on where you live in the world, you might type in my discount code and the price goes up vice down. I have no idea. It's often when a product is on sale and you type in a discount code that it goes up vice down. When it's not on sale and you type in the code, then it goes down on sale. It's very strange. So with all that said, you cannot go wrong with either of these radios. So uh, yeah, check out the links below. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more product reviews. Until then, I say bye.